Riders, welcome back. Right now we are right here near the Orlando International Airport. We're actually going to be heading now to Cape Canaveral. Uh, there's going to be a SpaceX launch that's going to be around... Uh, I believe it's going to be around 12.48. So right now it's... What time is it right now? Right now is... 11:45, so we have about you know an hour to get there and get ourselves situated. I'm gonna be trying to see if I'm gonna be able to get some drone footage. So I'm gonna be riding with my brother. He just got back from one of his tours with the Coast Guard, so we are taking advantage of all the time we can. Now at the end of next week, Thursday, we're gonna be heading out to go up to like North Carolina, Tennessee, North Georgia area. So we'll be doing some more riding over there. So as you can see, gas here. At recently dropped down to four dollars a gallon so things are starting to look good again i just i filled up my fjr the other day and gas was literally four i believe it was 30 it took 21 dollars to fill her up which to me that's outrageous so so we'll see i mean uh it's nice and cool it's been raining for the past like hour so you know it's definitely helped bring the temperature down so we shall see so he has an 07 fjr as you can see he has the maroon one over here and then he has the carbon edition uh, two brothers uh, racing exhaust which actually goes very well with his paint job and i have the i'm not sure titanium i think that one is so i, I think that would look even better on my bike but it is what it is so we're going to be heading out now and not much recording to do between here and there it's going to be literally just a strictly highway run so maybe in between it's nice and dark basically the whole way there so not much to record or see so let's go that lady likes vans huh <laughs> you saw that big sticker on the side well not sticker but was that a sticker or a magnet oh, it's a sticker. So, oh no that's ridiculous bro Yeah, you know that the other day, uh, one of my friends that used to live down here, she has a neighbor that she has somebody that still lives here, and this gas station, you know, when they are doing like the testing, like they put like those outrageous prices, yeah. and of course, you know what that friend did? She went ahead and she posted, "Oh, look what gas is here in Florida. It was like nine eighty nine a gallon." I'm like, really? Like that lady, that lady that lives here, I think she lives in the land. I'm like, she seriously posted that, knowing knowing well. <laughs> That that is no way in hell true. <laughs> so yeah, bro. Is this the really expensive gas? Oh yeah, that that one is six forty nine and seven hundred nine. Why would that guy pump there? You gotta be you gotta be stupid. Not. Yeah, bro. You know what it is to spend six forty nine and seven oh nine a gallon, bro? Oh, oh, hell no. Hell no. <laughs> yeah. Not bad. Yeah. I don't know if you knew, but one time we did that. Like we got the prepaid fuel just because whatever. It was only like it wasn't that much more. But you know what? We didn't realize. They charge you a whole tank. They don't charge you from whatever your car was. Yeah, but we didn't know that until we went back and, and the guy was like, oh yeah. And he told us, because they didn't tell, that. well, I don't think they told us, but if they did, then I obviously missed that. But yeah, the guy was like, oh yeah, so the, the, the pre-prayed fuel is going to come up to this much. And I'm like, what? I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, well. Yeah that, yeah, that was in Puerto Rico. That was the same spot. I forget which. I think it was dollar, if I'm not mistaken. Bro, they try to charge you for freaking scratches under the car, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, bro, it's crazy. It's. That's alright, we put the throttle lock and we just and we'll just hit it the whole way there. It's gonna be a good at the dry run for, for Thursday. 
Yeah, but you, uh, I know another southwest. My God, bro, that's that's all that lands here. <laughs> no, but you know what? It's gonna be good. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's funny? You can see the plane right there. Then you can see the one right behind it. <laughs> oh my. That's crazy. That is crazy. No, but this is gonna be a good dry run. Don't you know that when we go up that way, it's gonna be the fact that it's all dark on 75. But I mean, it's gonna be dark regardless if we go if we go <laughs> by Jacksonville or if we go through Atlanta. So it's not gonna matter. We just gotta make sure we leave early that day and preferably have filled up the day before. That way we don't have to stop first thing in the morning to put gas. But the one on the right, it's gonna be a little bit, if you look at your light, the one on the right is gonna be a little bit shorter than the one on the left. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I definitely gotta put LED on mine, because mine looks so, so freaking blind. But you know what I wanna do too? I wanna put the LED, and where we have uh, the, where we have the, the crash bar on the bottom, I wanna put LED right there as well, un, un, fog, un flood light. So, yeah, because right now, especially when we get, once we get to the dark, we'll be able to really compare side by side the, dif the difference between your light and my light, because my light is really not useful unless I use the high beam, so. Yeah, oh, I didn't know that ended right there. Yeah, I didn't know, I didn't know that, that, that link ended right there. Mira, mano, aquí vamos, aquí vamos, mira, bro. Aquí vamos. All right, guys. So we just made it over here. So we are, uh, yeah. Look at me with the phone. <laughs> so the rocket. I don't know if you're able to see it. It's gonna be all the way down there. You won't be able to really appreciate it. So. We are here, we are in, what is this, Cape Canaveral Cape here? Canaveral. We're in Cape Canaveral here now, so we are excited. Uh, so, uh, supposed to launch in about five to seven minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and get ready. There she goes on the Starlink 4-12 mission. So I think you're gonna be pretty impressed. Uh, so we flew the drone. The, uh, the drone footage didn't come out as good as we expected it to come out. Uh, but then again, it's nighttime, so uh, you know any type of like drones and GoPros, uh, so you know they're not gonna be good on. Uh, they're not gonna be good when it comes to low light settings. So, uh, but we got some really good footage from a iPhone 13 uh, Pro. Uh, I mean, you can clearly see the rocket, you know, especially when it starts, you know, to get going. Uh, incredible footage. So uh, I'm going to be putting that video up here uh, uh, shortly. So so now we're going to be heading back. We're going to be heading now next week to... Oh, oh, we'll be here. I forgot. I we're gonna be here. No, the 24th, we won't be here. That's when we're leaving. We'll be back on the 30th already. No, we'll... Oh, that's right. Yes, yeah, so that's gonna be yeah. So we'll be, so we'll be catching the 
a rocket now on March 30th, but now next week we're gonna be going, uh, we're leaving on Thursday. We're gonna be leaving on Thursday. Yeah, so yeah, so next week we're gonna be heading up to uh, to Georgia. So we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna stop by on our first, on our first day there, we're gonna stop by Young Harris to have breakfast. Uh, not breakfast, we have uh, basically a early, late lunch, early dinner. And then from there, we're gonna head up to Andrews where we're gonna be staying. And from there, we're gonna be going to, uh, I'm hoping that we're able to hit Tell of the Dragon or that we're able to hit uh, Bridal uh, Vale Falls up in the North Carolina area. So we, we shall see, we shall see. So, uh, and then then the following days, we're gonna be hitting the Sherahala, we're gonna be hitting Tell of the Dragon. And then some of the other days, we're gonna be going down to, uh, we're gonna be heading to Suches and some of the good local roads in the area. I'm not really sure of names or anything like that. I know I rode them last year and they're good roads. And I mean, you wouldn't think, but we're gonna be riding 225, maybe 250 miles per day, but that literally will take you the whole day. Cause it's not, you know, you're not going in a straight line. You're going, uh, you know, you're going, you know, curves, hills, downhills. So, you know, you can't go full speed on those areas. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. So guys, if you enjoyed this content, uh, just give it a thumbs up and that way the algorithm knows it's good and I will see you guys on my next video.